Classroom is a great way to organise work for students. It saves you having to have complicated folder structures or expecting students to go and retrieve work at the beginning of lessons. But it really comes into its own if you're going to use the assignment and mark features. In order to do so, I would recommend going into settings and using mark categories. So what you can do is just set up some categories and what marks you want them to be out of. So I have a quiz, an end of topic, which might be a test, both of which are out of 100. Classwork I set as 10 and the homework is 20. You can also decide whether the overall mark is shown to the students or not. And you can change the way that that mark is calculated. So I've got total points, which just gives me an average total point score based on what they got and what it was out of. But you can actually weight it by category. So if I wanted my end of topic marking here to have more weight, I could set that up. If you save that, and then we'll go into setting assignments. You've got normal assignment and quiz assignment. Normal assignment, you can upload a variety of different documents for your students, or you can get them to hand in their own. If we click on assignment, you'll need to give your assignment a title. A lot of the features, particularly if you're using rubrics, etc., won't actually open until you've got a title in there. The instructions are optional, but I'll put some in so you can see what they look like for the students. And then what you can do is you can create a piece of work which they can add to, or if like me, you've already got your resources, you can add them from Google Drive. Because I've recently been working on my resources, they all appear here. So I'm going to get a worksheet, which I've got from OCR, and I'm going to insert it here. Now there's three options at this point. Students can view the file. So if you just want the students to have a look at it and then submit their own piece of work, you can choose that one. If you choose students can edit the file, be careful because that gives one copy, but it gives multiple shared access to those students. So effectively, they all work on one document. It's brilliant if you want the whole class or subgroups to fill in uh, a worksheet. But if you want each copy, uh, each student to have a copy for themselves, if you choose this one, it will put a copy for them in their drive structure. And it also means when they click on the assignment, they can just work on it directly and hand it in. For mark categories, so I'm going to set this one as classwork. Now, this is optional. So sometimes I don't actually uh, formally assess the classwork that comes in. So you can just click unmarked. And that's quite important because then it just shows as handed in rather than waiting for um, a point score in your mark sheet. You can put a due date in. They can still hand in after their due date, but it will tell you that it's been handed in late. And you can put it in a topic. Now, if you haven't got any topic set up, you can set it at this point. So let's just say this is topic one. Rubrics and the plagiarism checker uh, will go through in a different tutorial. So you can just assign this direct to classroom or you can schedule it. And this is brilliant because it means that I can actually set up a term's worth of work should I choose to, but it will only ever appear on the day that I schedule it to. I'm gonna click assign. And here is the assignment. So I just pop back in and change the title and you can edit any of the details. What you can't do is change this to each student will get a copy after you've already put that there. And that's because it, it puts it all into the um, folder structure for you. So you would have to delete this if you wanted to change what was here. But you can change the title, the instructions. You can add a rubric and do plagiarism after you've put it on. You can change the topic and the date and all these other bits here. So what does that look like for the student? So if I just pop into my other window, you can see this is my test class. And you can see that um, I have an assignment which is due on Friday. And if I click my to-do list, I'll be able to see that I have something to do and it has the deadline for it here. That's super helpful. Um, but I'm gonna go into my classroom I can see that the stream is updated, something new has happened, and I can click on that. If I pop into my classwork, I can see the assignment here. And again, I've got view your work, and this is specific for this class, so I can see that I've got something assigned. I'm going to view the details of this. So you can see that the instructions have come up here. I can add a comment to this as a student, um, and as it says here, I can put at and add that to someone specifically. 
or I can just write a, any comment in here and it will be available for all students in the class to see. If I want to ask the teacher something and I want to do that privately, I can just go into private comments here. So this is um, this will go directly to the teacher and no one else will see. Now, because I've set this for everyone to have their own copy, if I click on this, I will have my very own copy of the work. Um, this works just like a Google Doc, so I can fill in all my details here. Let's just get rid of that. And then when I'm done, I can turn it in or hand it in. And that will go um, back to this classroom. One attachment will be submitted and I can hand in. Now, if I go back to my teacher window and go into my um, assignment, I can see that one student has handed it in. Um, you can see that the private comment that I left is now in here for the teacher to see. And then if I want to mark it, I just click on it. It will open. Now, if I've got a whole class in here, I'll be able to scroll through using these arrows here, every student that's handed the work in, or I can click this down and I can sort them and I can actually go directly to a student this way. In terms of marking, you have a, a, a couple of different options. So you can write directly into the sheet. You can highlight a piece and add a comment. I can write a comment directly into here. Now, because this assignment was unmarked, there is nowhere for me to actually give a score on this. So, you know, when you first set these things up, you need to think about what it is that you want to assess and if you actually want to give them a tangible mark, in which case I would have a score um, for this one. Um, when you're finished, you can return it. It says return multiple, and that means anyone that you've given comments to um, or indeed anyone that's handed anything in will just have that returned back to them. What this means is, um, even though they've got it set in Google Drive, it changes the permission. So initially the student owns the copy. When they hand it in, it passes to the teacher and then will return it and control passes back to them. But we can both work on this document at the same time without anyone returning or handing that in. You can also email students from here, and that includes anyone that hasn't handed any work in. So you can choose to just email those that are late. And if you wanted to put a point score on your mark sheet, you can change it at the top here. And it will ask you if you're sure. And we can update. And that's really handy because it might be that, um, well, that you did it wrong at the beginning or that perhaps you've changed your mind. So now the marking sheet is open for me. So any marks I put in here and return will be returned to the student. And so what does this look like for the student? So I'm back in my student class. Um, nothing's due in, um, which is good. But if I did want to check, I could go to my to-do list. I can see that I've got nothing assigned. But actually, if I look in done, I can see the assessment here. I can see that I've got 67 out of 100. So I'm just going to pop into the classroom so that you can see what that will look like for your student. So classwork, again, they've got the option to view their work, but I'm just going to click straight in here. I can see that it's been marked. I can see that the teacher has responded to my comments and I can see that I got 67 out of 100. Now, your student's got a couple of options now. They can continue to edit and resubmit or they could add or create a new document and submit those in as well. Finally, we can have a quick look at the mark sheets, even though I've only got one student in. If I click in marks, I can see that I've got the date and the name of that assignment and I've got uh, the score. And what that will do is it will give you a class average for each assignment and it will give the student an average score across all the assignments that they hand in. And that's a really short guide to using the excellent marking and feedback features of Google Classroom.